on the first day. Yeah. Woo. We're just arriving to the Lake Umantai. This is amazing. It is eight days old. This is the story of how we got to Machu Picchu. I'm Nikki from Nikki Post Travel Stuff, and Art and I have decided to do a takeover of each other's channels for this Machu Picchu series. If you want to see Art's edits, hop over to my channel at Nikki Post Travel Stuff to see those, and you can see from both of our perspectives. up there. Art is thinking about whether he should take a horse up and step. <laughs> so far so good but the journey hasn't even started yet so. <laughs> Starting to get a little hot on the trail. Right, yes. Now we are going first to start get going our hike, which is going to Machu Picchu. We have to visit this beautiful lake. It's over there. We call Umante. The Mantis we call Umante as well. Umantai Lake. That's where we are going now. How many hours walking into Umantai? Like two hours max. Okay. Going up, going back, like one hour, 30 minutes. We're on our way to Umantai Lake and there's a lot of people who are going just for the day. So we're taking a little break here so the group that's already kind of coming down will go. So by the time we arrive to the lake, there'll be much less people and we can enjoy it a little bit more empty. Private just for us. And that's the advantage of doing the full Salkatai trek rather than just the one day. We're just arriving to the Lake Umantai right now. We have Two minutes left. It hasn't been easy for me as you can see. I feel like I'm wearing the wrong shoes and the altitude is still getting to me, but we're gonna push forward either way. So yeah, pretty soon it's lunchtime. I'm excited for that. Snack time here at Umante Lake. I'm here with Ronald and I'm having the bread with butter from this morning. This the Umante it means like a head. Uma means head. That's our own official Inca language. Yeah? Uma means head. Why the local people who are living on the Sorai Pampa see that one? Because from there, from the head, is going down the water for all the farmers on this village we call Sorai Pampa. That's very important. Struggling familia. <laughs> so it's only day one, I'm kind of scared. Well, since Nikki's gone off on her solo hike, I thought I'd tell you how it's going. Uh, we're in three people, me, Ronald, and Nikki. And well, Nikki's done a lot of hiking in her life. She's from Colorado, so her pace is pretty up there. And Ronald said he can come up to this lake in like 30 minutes, and it took us two hours. So. I'm lagging behind, uh, my shoes kind of suck, I don't have hiking boots, but I'm definitely going to make it. I believe in myself. Nikki's gone off on a solo hike here. There she is. I'm walking along the ridge on the higher side of the lake and there's nobody over here. so. I have it all to myself. It's so peaceful and totally beautiful. The nature blows you away. I feel like this is a full circle moment because the hills are full of lupins and it reminds me of my favorite childhood book that inspired me or was part of the reason that I wanted to travel when I grew up. A woman planted lupins and now I'm here surrounded by lupins on the way to Machu Picchu. 
We just found this little horsey and it is eight days old. We just came back down to the bottom of the mountain after climbing up to see Humantai Lake. And now we're gonna have lunch here. We have a horseman, a guide, and a cook that come with us on the trip. So our cook, our chef, has been preparing lunch. Mm, some good stuff. Mm -hmm. We are very excited to eat it. And there's a Peruvian wedding. And there's a Peruvian wedding, wedding just right over there. I think you just had a bit of a fall here. <laughs> It's, she it's went to sit level. down on this and... Pachamama loves you, Nikki. Yeah. Pachamama is playing tricks on Nikki today. <laughs> My butt hurts. There's water all over. <laughs> okay, okay, cheers. 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 <laughs> First lunch. This is Andean Sioux family. We call it in Quechua, Moraya. Moraya. It's dry potato soup. Okay. We just finished lunch and a little siesta. It's starting to rain a little, so we've put on a little bit more warmer headgear, jackets. Yeah, I'm dealing with shitty shoes, shitty knees. And shitty shit. A headache, altitude, and diarrhea. And I feel great. And I'm gonna walk two hours to the campsite right now. Ready? Well, do I have a choice? Nah. No, I don't. This hopefully doesn't rain because I can feel some raindrops. It's raining. It's raining already. Yeah. But um, our guide said that he doesn't think it's going to rain rain. So hope we can trust him on that. And we're off again. Just walking through a valley on a Monday afternoon. That's right. Nice little Monday. There's no one around. the people who really matter. Como están chicos? Yeah. <laughs> What's your... Baby boy, no one hike no more. <laughs> Bien cansado. Poco. <laughs> so after about an hour and a half, two hours of walking and a couple small breaks, we have made it to our first night camping spot. Well done, family. Day one recap, we just arrived to the camp about 30 minutes ago. Our tents were already set up, so we just kind of crawled inside. It was raining when we arrived here. How did you feel today, our day one? I'm not gonna lie, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little difficult for me. I'm a city boy, you know, I haven't hiked that much in my life. I thought I had hiked enough to get through this. And supposedly today was one of the easy easier days and I really, I've been suffering with altitude since I got to Cusco I've had all symptoms possible so we're talking headaches we're talking shortness of breath severe diarrhea for like three days straight <laughs> um, so I just didn't know if I was gonna be able to do this I felt like today was very easy something saved me today like we have those little candies that we brought mm -hmm. I asked the guide yesterday if I could do the trail in my very old new balances and he said yeah no problem Turns out that wasn't true. I've been slipping on dust and dirt all day. And so our recommendation to you is get hiking boots. Don't do it in tennis shoes. Yeah. Another tip is when we went to the lake, we were the first people to sort of walk up to the left. And so we got really nice photos on rocks up above looking down. Surface level, you can't tell how blue it is, but looking down, it is amazingly blue. But don't bring a drone. You'll get in trouble. Don't waste space in your bag. No drones allowed in this whole area. Yeah, so we're just going to rest here for a couple hours and then we're going to have dinner around 6.30 and then probably hit the sack around 8.00 and then we'll be getting up around he said 5 30 or 6 30. Yes. so i guess it depends on the weather 12 hours and the hardest day tomorrow yeah so stay tuned for that <laughs>